Hey guys, Mike Majette, PGA Professional and your Selfie Golf Coach. Let's talk about how to warm up properly for our round of golf or our practice session. Okay, so we're going to start from our upper body, work our way down to our lower body. This is going to take 5 to 10 minutes. You can take as long as you want on any particular part of the body. But this is what I do before a round of golf. Maybe I just showed up. I only have 10 minutes, I don't have time to hit balls, I will do this because once I hit the first tee, I will feel after doing this warm up like I just hit a bucket of balls. Okay, so you could do this before a practice session or before your round of golf. So what I have here, yoga band. All I'm going to do, grip it at the ends and have my arms go back and forth. Okay, what this is doing is I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, I'm warming up my back and my shoulders. Then what I'll do is I'll go over my head with it outstretched, okay? I'll do this eight to ten times, okay? Back and forth. All right, once you get the shoulders warm up, what we're going to do is take our golf club. What we're going to do is we're going to grip it at, by the club head, okay? Have our other hand at the bottom edge of the grip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my knees, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn and hold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count and then come back to the center. Okay, what I'll do is I'll switch the club. So now the club heads by my left hand, athletically flex my knees as if I'm in my golf stance, and I'll turn to the left. Make sure that your hips are staying stable. Okay, we don't want this to happen. So try to keep your belt buckle facing forward, okay, and just turn your upper body. Go as far as you can. Don't feel like you have to get all the way to 90 degrees. Get as far as you can until you feel the stretch. Okay, then count for five breaths. You'll do it three times on your right side, three times on your left side. Just make sure that you're alternating. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to do some rotations. Now again, make sure that your hips are stable. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cross our arms, put our hands on our shoulders, and just rotate. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to look down as if I'm looking at the golf ball. That's it. Okay, I'm just warming up my upper body. I'm preparing to rotate for the round of golf. Then what we're going to do, you can take a golf club, you don't have to. I'm going to cross my arms again. Okay, get in my golf stance, look down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hips and keep my shoulders stable. Okay? I'm going to rotate my hips as far as they can go and keep my shoulders pointing forward. I will go about five times one way, five times the other. You can do it as many times as you can. If you feel a little tight, maybe in your core or your lower back, go ahead and do that as much as you can to warm up that area of the body. Then what I'm going to do, just so you guys can see, I'll keep my shoulders still. These are called pelvic tilts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage my core. Bring my belt buckle forward and then bring it back. Okay, I'm going to arch my lower back, then engage my core, bring my belt buckle forward until my legs are straight. You can see that. Okay, this is a great warm up for your core area and for your hips. And you can do that as well, five, eight, ten times, as many times as you need to. Then what we're going to do is leg kicks, get the lower body moving. Okay? You can use a club for balance, just go back and forth. Okay, make sure that you're kicking up in a straight line, you're not all over the place. So try to trace a straight line back and forth as many times as you need, then switch. Okay, then what we're going to do, warm up or stretch our hip flexors. Now, I caution, you don't have to get deep into this stretch to really feel it. Okay, so what we're going to do, figure four. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back and just hang out here. Okay, again, five, eight, ten breaths. Just hang out here. Make sure you feel the stretch in your hip flexor. You don't have to get very deep to feel this stretch. If you feel the stretch here, by all means, take five to ten breaths here and just hang out for a little bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to switch. Cross my legs and sit. Okay, if you need two clubs, no problem. 
One club should be enough. We're just going to hang out here for five deep breaths. We're going to inhale. Okay, that's one breath. Shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes. So again, if you're rushed before your round of golf, or if you want to warm up properly before you hit the driving range, you're going to hit a bunch of golf balls, definitely, definitely do these six to seven exercises beforehand and you will feel ready to hit your first golf shot, no matter if it's on the first tee or the driving range. Okay, I really look forward to helping you guys effectively work out for your golf swing and your golf game. Next week, we will do some exercises to help strengthen your core and your rotation.